Oh man, I'm sorry. I've been crazy for the last couple hours, and um, the seating was, we're just overwhelmed. Look at all the people still by the bar, and uh, I'm loving this. This is amazing, amazing to me. Um, if you don't know who I am, again, I'm Humble Ted. I've been around since the beginning, eight years ago, when we were in a basement. And by house, there you go. I don't want to tell everybody. They don't, <laughs> then they're going to want to know where I live. No, I'm just kidding. But honestly, eight years ago, it was something that we, we did, and I never in my wildest dreams would have believed that today we'd be sitting here in this room with all these people, in my wildest dreams. I knew that we, we were going to grow this business and, and, and grow and grow and grow, but I never expected this. And it's, my, my, my heart's pounding right now because I've been going, like I said, and I'm so happy to see faces I met earlier today. I don't know what to say. I mean, they, they wanted me to speak about these two guys that I've watched grow from when they were in their 20s, when they were just, to me, they were my kids. You know, because I'm a little older than everybody, mostly in this room, probably. And uh, they still proof me, though. That's crazy, but they proof me. But what I was going to say is, I watched them grow from being kids to me. Eight years later, these are men that bring so much to the table, and they've, they've built Amazon Lit with their blood, sweat, and tears. If I can't tell you how many nights I went home at midnight, and they were there until 3 or 4 in the morning. I think Sebastian slept in there in that building more than his own home. It really is just really not much more for me to say right now because my brain is so wound up. I had so much more to say, but we're running a little behind schedule. So to keep this going, I'm just going to say thank you for coming. This ticket is hotter than Katy Perry's right now. I heard on the strip $10,000 for a ticket to, for tonight's show. So just to keep that in mind. So, so this, is, this, is, this is the future, it really is. I mean, uh, what these guys are building, these are pioneers. I mean, um, you go back and you think what Jeff Bezos started 25, 30 years ago. It's made people, it's created so many jobs in this world and so much, <clears throat> so much opportunity that it's mind-blowing. If you think about the size of Amazon and what it's created, and everyone in this room is here for a reason. They took the time to buy a ticket to see this to, and to grow their opportunity. And that's what it really is. It's an opportunity. So get the most out of this tonight. If you have any questions, I'm going to kind of float around and hopefully my blood pressure is going to come back down. And, um, and that's really all I have to say. So let's get busy. Lee, take over. I think I'm moody. What's up, Vegas? Oh, this is fantastic. This is amazing. This is, this is crazy. Let me just soak this in for a minute here. This is wild. How'd y'all feel about Humble Tech? Can we give Humble Tech a round of applause? Yeah, I'll, I'll take a couple okay. snaps right now. <laughs> All right. Quick little gauge in the audience here. Anybody here from another country? Show of hands. Where are you guys from? Slovakia, what about you? Same place? Mexico. Mexico, you? Canada. Canada, you? Slovakia together. Anybody else? In the back? Brazil. Brazil? Okay. Anybody else? Istanbul. Istanbul. Oh my God, who else? That's it? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Let it be known. So I got a question for y'all. Awesome. 
That's a nice shot. All right, so let's get this started here. So success, right? How, how do you define success? Success can be defined in a lot of ways. It really depends on the person that you're talking to. You know, some people would define success on how large your bank account is. Other people <coughs> define success on how many great friendships you have. Thank you, brother. With the people in your life. Other people would define success, you know, from having a good job, or having a nice car, or having a fancy watch and some nice ring. You know, so I'd like all of you to consider what you define success. I know for me, my definition of success is much deeper than my bank account, right? It's much deeper than the jewelry that I wear on my fingers or my neck, right? It goes much deeper than that. It's like, how am I communicating with the people in my life? You know, am I, am I communicating with my family properly? You know, do I have great relationships? Am I growing those relationships? Are you growing those relationships? You know, what about my friends, the people that I communicate with on a daily basis? How am I doing with those relationships? Am I just take, 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 take? Mm. Or am I giving as well? I think it's an important part of my life and possibly yours as well. You have to ask yourself that. Are you giving back to these people in your life? That's how I define success. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people look at success just from a monetary standpoint, but the reason we got to where we are is because we didn't. And we want you to try to look at it from a service standpoint. We came out to Vegas, not for us, we came out here for you. I'm not just saying that, I mean, I mean it. We've been planning this for a while. We wanted to present something to you that we didn't have when we were coming up and growing our businesses, when we were trying to find our path where we were going to be as we got older, defining ourselves, finding our identity. We didn't have this just community that we're trying to build here for all of you. Yeah, so I want, I want everybody to stand up right now. Right, can we do that? Mm -hmm. we stand up and mm -hmm. All right, so, right, we're going to do a little affirmation here, right? I think affirmation is important. Sometimes I get in the car in the morning and I just say certain things to myself to get me hyped up. Sometimes I just get in the car and I scream as loud as I can, like, ah! Right, and let some of that energy out. So we're going to try that. And count of three, I want you all to scream as loud as you can. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Right, change your stick. One, two, three. Ah! So the reason we do that is it's, it's all about identity, like Eric said. It's about adapting and changing who we are. Who Eric and I were in the past would never be on stage today. We had to make changes in our mindset, in the way that we looked at the world. Our perspective had to change. And that's what we want to focus on tonight, adaptation and change. 20%. That's a percentage of businesses that fail in year one. How many of y'all had a failed business before? Show of hands. I know I have. Right? Was it in the first year? Keep your hands up. Yeah. See, that's about 20%. Now, the next slide here is uh, 50%. And this is the percentage of businesses that fail in the first five years. We're not trying to get negative here. We're just bringing reality to the picture here. This is the honest truth. And why this happens is because of lack of adaptation. This is why so many businesses fail, right here. Lack of change. The person who started the business can't be the same person five years later. Progress requires you to learn different information. You need to upgrade yourself, you need to expand. 
who we were in a basement, we're gonna show you those pictures, just wouldn't be able to delegate the tasks that we delegate nowadays to be able to have the mindset and planning and really the thought process expands ourselves from just thinking about ourselves to thinking about the people who work for us, to thinking about their families, to thinking about the people we serve, all of you. We continue to expand and so does the vision.